Hey YouTube, this is Chris Jones here, and today we're going to be taking a full-on review of the Skull Candy Ink headphones. Now, these are a great pair of earbuds if you want to replace the stock ones that came with your media player, or just a nice mid-range small pair of earphones that provide great audio quality for the price. Now, as you can see here, I have the black version. There is also a ton of different colors that you can find online basically any color that you could possibly want to suit your needs you will probably be able to find them now um, there are two different versions of this one with an inline microphone and one without I have the one without the one without the inline microphone will retail for right around ten dollars and the one with the inline microphone will cost you about fifteen dollars so now to take a look at the cable it is just a regular rubber cable uh... there is it's not braided or anything and it does tend to bend and get tangled up in a mess quite a bit now uh... right here you have a skull candy logo which if you have the one with the microphone the microphone will be put right here and you have a little rubber slider and then taking a quick look at the three and a half millimeter jack that you'll plug in it is gold plated dual prong it's not a right angle so it's just straight on in and then taking a quick look at the earbuds themselves you can see they have the skull candy logo right there and are really pretty small as you can see uh, for comparison to my hand and there are these rubber slips that you can put on them now it comes with three you have the small one, a medium, and a large. Personally, I like to use the large because they can uh, better fill the airspace between your ear to give you better passive noise cancellation for overall improved audio quality. And speaking of the audio quality, these Skull Candy Ink headphones do provide a very good sound experience. They have 11 millimeter drivers on each of the earbuds and they have a response range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and as far as the bass goes uh, the bass can be very good if you have an airtight seal and the lows and mids are very crisp and very good the highs could be a little bit better could be a little bit more piercing so another thing these earphones can get very very loud for their small size if you like to wear these just around your neck and have decent audio quality while you're working on something else uh, these work very good for that they also work very good for new metal alternative and a little bit of rap with that extra bass that you can get from them and also if you don't have a gaming headset and would like to have a fair bit of situational awareness stereo headphones you will be able to do that pretty good as they do provide good sound quality from your games and overall for the sound quality that these present at the price of 10 to 15 bucks I'm gonna have to give these headphones a, a solid four and a half out of five stars if you would like to pick a pair of school candy ink headphones up I'll have a link in the description box below and also if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and you can also follow me on Twitter twitter.com slash zero Christian zero subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you in the next video don't necessarily like Magnum Ammo, and it, it's not completely a necessity for all kits, but um, I don't know, I just decided to roll with it on this one. I actually, when, whenever I'm playing.